So I've been doing a little bit of research um, on the uh, Amoeba serous faunas of the upper calcareous grit, which is uh, Upper Oxfordian, uh, which does crop out in North Yorkshire. During the 60s and 70s, there was quite extensive quarrying of the Middle Oxfordian Malta Nullite and Coral Rag um, for lime and road building uh, materials, so a number of localities along the uh, northern side of the Vale of Pickering. So these operations made quite substantial exposures of um, overlying upper cap upper calcareous grit, um, the sandstones and siltstones of which were no use to the quarrymen uh, and so were dumped. Um, but happens to be that that material was fossiliferous um, and it was available for uh, paleontologists to collect and study. Um, obviously we don't build roads very often anymore <laughs> and a lot of the quarries have now ceased production uh, or no longer work. The uh, ammonite yielding beds and very few remain open for scientific study. This expedition is going to be a little bit different because we're going to be going into a working quarry uh, that we've uh, negotiated the permissions from. So we've no idea what we're going to find, um, no idea what the condition of the ammonites will be like. Uh, these are some of the samples which look fairly crushed but obviously black and white, no colour, no idea what we'll find. Um, but it should be an interesting expedition to go to a working quarry, see what um, they are pulling out. Um, see what the exposures look like um, and maybe we'll find something maybe we won't uh, but either way it's going to be really interesting uh, just to know whether um, the uh, species are present um, the author of this paper JK Wright he's an uh, eminent um, paleontologist uh, working at the Royal Holloway uh, in London he's done lots and lots of papers on the uh, Middle and Upper Jurassic uh, especially in Yorkshire um, and he collected quite a lot of specimens in the 1970s. Okay, so you can see this blue material in the sunshine. And you can see some trace fossils in there of um, probably gastropods, possibly even bellum knights. Oops, now you my glasses. Uh, that's definitely interesting, that's it. Yeah, okay. Some lots of uh, gastropods. At the moment, don't know what layer we're in. Again, that's quite a, quite a decent one in that chunk there. That looks definitely like an ammonite impression. So, they definitely are here, but not easy to find. Again, not sure what kind it is from the impression, it's quite well worn. Well, that'll be it. You'll be spotting them everywhere after this. <laughs> Which I, I found only one next to an amalthus debris. So, although we didn't find any ammonites in the quarry, uh, we did find a couple of impressions. We had a, a good look round, um, saw the uh, older part and the newer part of the quarry. Um, but yeah, everything just seemed to be uh, gastropods mainly. So you can see a gastropod there, gastropod there, gastropod there, um, another one there. So yeah, I'm going to get this one cleaned up and try and identify the species. But the problem with gastropods is that they basically look the same now as they did 200 million years ago. Uh, because they're such a successful design so um, I've got a feeling we're in uh, well we were we're looking in the uh, layers 
higher up in the Oxfordian uh, than um, we wanted. However, uh, the fact that there was some uh, negatives of uh, ammonites there suggests that uh, there are species present. Um, we just didn't find any. Um, but uh, yeah, it was uh, very interesting to see. Um, again, uh, we had a good look at all the rocks. Uh, and the next uh, job for me is to uh, see if I can find similar layers on uh, the coast to see, see if there's an outcropping of um, the same strata there because the, the strata that's below this layer hopefully will be uh, where the Amoebaceras live. Uh, and I have seen similar rocks to this uh, around Gristhorpe, so uh, it suggests that this does crop out on the coast, uh, but I just need to go look for it a little harder. So yeah, interesting stuff. Uh, very good at the quarry to let us have a look around um, and to collect a few specimens. <laughs>